Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, I'm Chris and in this video I would like to speak about if Ethereum ETFs can hurt Caspa because recently we saw a drop from Ethereum ETFs and obviously I'm going to discuss with you what's happening on the market because this is why I'm doing these videos I'm, I would like to give you some education from what's happening in the market and how you should read the market according to the fundamentals, like to understand why we drop, why we pump, like you need to know these things because as you know from details, you can see the bigger vision. So um, I'm still bullish, even if we have this kind of corrections into the market, I'm still bullish. I would like also to show you how powerfully Casper is studying on this video, according to the rest kind of disaster uh, scenarios that we hear from the other altcoins and uh, Casper is standing in a very powerful position of 4.2 billion market cap, like the cows didn't actually affect that match Caspa. Uh, and this is a powerful side that you need to pay attention because when everything is going to be green and when ev everything is going to have a moonshot, at that point, Casper will fly into a level that, yeah, we won't be able to see <laughs> how high Casper will fly. So, um, sit back, relax, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel for the latest news around Casper and for the latest news around the crypto market in general and for the best fundamental analysis by Chris. And also, guys, I would like to tell you that now I'm not in my office for above two months. So, I have to tell you that... I'm not so active and that's why I'm not so uh, active as I was. But at the end of August, I'm going to be back to the track and I'm going to prepare you very, very bullish coding for Caspa and not only. So get ready. Okay, get ready. You will see crazy things. So let's go straight into the topic. And guys, I would like to immediately answer you if Ethereum ETFs can hurt Caspa. Obviously, they cannot hurt Caspa. Nothing can hurt Caspa. Caspa is actually a commodity, a fairly launched project that is backed by their people. And the majority of the Caspa holders know what they're holding. And also, the majority of the Caspa holders are big whales. Okay, we have very big and many whales behind Caspa. And that's a powerful sign. Like when you see someone that is a multi millionaire and he has like above 50% Caspa, 70% Caspa, 80% Caspa, that's a big signal that you need to pay attention of what's coming, like big whales behind the project and more whales will come when they will understand the potential of Caspa. But sometimes this takes time. It cannot happen like over a few months period. It needs time for some people to accept it and research it and believe it. So it is what it is. Anyway, let's stay on the topic. Ethereum right now, as you see guys, has big, big drop. And you're gonna ask me, Chris, why Ethereum is dropping? Like we should see a pump. Guys, there are two scenarios here. The first scenario is that, that you're gonna hear around is that US institutions want to keep the Ethereum price low for some more time. But I don't believe in that scenario. It's playing around, okay, but I don't believe that much in that scenario. I believe into the scenario that it happened also with the Bitcoin in January, Bitcoin ETFs, I mean, that Grayscale was selling big amounts of BTC due to the reason they had big high fees. And before a couple of months, we saw that Grayscale won't repeat the same mistake that they did with the Bitcoin ETFs. But in a surprise, I saw that Grayscale kept the prices of 2.50% of fees, of annual fees. So BlackRock from the other side, BlackRock Ethereum ETFs have 0.25%. So it's very rational for the customer of Grayscale to sell the Ethereum ETF sir of Grayscale and go to BlackRock. So that's why we have, as you see, some big outflows from Grayscale Ethereum ETFs. 326 million yesterday and 484 million 
in 23rd of July. And in total, Grayscale has already sold 811 million. But um, the first day we had inflows, like the rest of the institutions bought very, very heavy. And yesterday we had outflows because obviously uh, the US institutions cannot keep buying those big amounts of Ethereum every single day. So yesterday we had outflow from the Ethereum side and this is why Ethereum is dropping and also it's happening again. The selling news event from the traders. So it is what it is. I have to tell you something that it won't happen exactly the same. This selling pressure, this kind of um, manipulation because the people switch from Grayscale Ethereum ETFs to BlackRock, call it as you want. This kind of damp correction, whatever, won't last, okay, as it lasted on Bitcoin. And I have to tell you that I still believe in a green summer in August that we're going to see moonshots. And I believe even we can see a potential all-time high. And this is why I call it green summer. A uh, green summer is going to happen if we will see um, 88 on August. So from Bitcoin side, obviously from Casper, it's going to happen inevitably if Bitcoin is going to go now to $75,000. Casper is so close to it in 88. This is something that you need to pay attention. Okay, like look how close Casper is into the 88s, like nothing. We need only um, 13%, nothing, according to the, the rest altcoins that are most of them 90% down. And guys, I would like also to show you the strength of Caspa and why it cannot be hurted by the Ethereum ETFs that with this kind of dump from Ethereum, with this kind of uh, correction called as you like, we have dropped only 4 point something percent down. Ethereum dropped way, way more, like we dropped uh, 13, 12, 13% and Bitcoin dropped even more than Caspa, like Bitcoin dropped um, 5%, 5.50%. So you see how powerfully Caspa is standing. And you need to pay attention here that Caspa cannot be hurted by anything. And probably we will never see Caspa below 14.5 cents. So appreciate that. Keep the accumulation. Nothing can hurt Caspa path. Caspa is the most brutal project after Bitcoin, the most fair project the best technology out there, the technology for the people, backed by the people. So wake up. If, you, if you're looking a safe altcoin that has the performance and has a position and will be there in the upcoming years in the top two position because it will definitely flip Ethereum, that Ethereum is a total scam, but this is another subject. When it's gonna be in the top two, you're gonna miss like big, big gains. Caspa designed to flip Ethereum and it will do that. So Ethereum ETFs obviously cannot hurt Caspa and not any other crypto can hurt Caspa. Caspa as a project is unmatched. Okay, it's incomparable. So pack your bags, guys. Pack your bags before you will see the moonshots and before you're going to hit your head in the wall that you didn't buy below 20 cents. And don't forget that we have the Donald Trump on Saturday that is going to speak on Nashville. And if he will announce a Bitcoin strategic plan, this is where we're going to see big, big rallies and big, big reversals. Like literally Donald Trump, if he announce this strategic reverse plan, because from the data that we got, he's way, way first in the US elections. If he will announce something like that, market will fly a lot. So let's pay also attention to this big, big speech of Donald Trump on Saturday. Anyway, guys, for the people who ask me where you should store your Caspa, guys, go with Tadzem because cold storage is the answer, but I use Tadzem because I trust the company a lot and also it's very easy. Like even if you don't have that big experience on uh, cold storages, Tadzim is incredibly easy, like even a grandpa can use it. So if you go through the link of Tadzim, uh, it's going to put you in a first page that you're going to click get Tadzim and you're going to be in the second page. Click 
three card set in the promo code section. Click I have a promo code, write Crypto Chris, Chris with Y, as you see here, not with I. Click apply and you're going to grab beautifully 10% off in your order. Highly, highly recommend you guys grab your Tadzem and sleep safe at night. And also for the people who ask me, Chris, where do you buy Caspa? Currently, I buy from XM Bybit. Go through my links, click, sign up, deposit, and you're going to grab some extra bonuses to acquire some more Caspa. And for the people who would like to have a family, for the people who would like to be with like-minded people, I highly recommend you to join in our family wealth net. It's not a buy sell signal group. It's actually a group of high quality individuals, multimillionaires, businessmen, real estate investors, and there we contribute all together and we have high valuable conversations that you can gain a lot like from our experience, okay? Uh, so highly recommended to join. You're going to learn lots of lots of things. It's highly recommended. You won't regret it if you join. It's not for all. It's only for the like-minded, educated people. So thank you so much for your support. I appreciate you for every like, every comment. It means a lot to me. And I will see you all in my next video. I'll do my next video. Your boy Chris out. Bye.